Hey guys, welcome to the next Game Gengu vocab episode. In this video, we're going to be going through Final Fantasy IX. This is the winner of this month's community voted episode on the Game Gengu Discord. Every month, one game will be covered that's voted by you guys. So if you want to make sure your favorite game gets covered on this channel, then make sure to join the Game Gengu Discord community on either the website or on Patreon. So in this video, we're going to be covering the absolute classic from the PS1 days, Final Fantasy IX. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down all of the Japanese so that you can understand everything no matter what your personal level is. However, I will be putting a focus on the new pieces of language that we haven't yet seen in this series. So in this video alone, we're going to be looking at 75 N5 pieces of language, 44 N4, 59 N3, 8 N2, 25 N1, and 142 pieces of vocabulary that don't exist in the JLPT. Putting our total vocab covered in this episode, Episode at 353, one of the biggest ever on this channel, with 150 of those words being completely new. Now because we're going to be covering a lot of language in this video, what I'm going to be doing is only the new pieces of language will I have a dictionary pop-up for, and everything else I'll just quickly go through just to kind of give you a review. So hopefully this video has a nice pace whether you're a complete beginner or whether you're an advanced level student. So without further ado, let's jump into Final Fantasy IX. So we start things off and we're in this dark little room and this character here he says kurai na and this word is describing exactly how the room is kurai is the word for dark so this is the e adjective for dark so kurai na and this na is just like a ne so ooh, it's dark huh kurai na Wow, already this is all language we've previously covered before, but I'm just going to go through it very quickly. Mada means still or not yet. Daremo means anyone. Kitenai means hasn't come, and then noka is a way of asking a question. So he's saying, hasn't anyone come yet? Mada, daremo kitenai no ka? Mada, daremo kitenai no ka? Okay, so after exploring the room a little bit, we come across these candles in the middle of the table, and we have this option. So, Rosoku is a new piece of language, and this is just the word for candles in Japanese. So, those candles on the table are Rosoku. He, we already know, means fire, and Tomosu here means to light a candle, a lamp, or turn on a light. So, this is kind of that action of lighting the candle, right? He has a match and he's lighting the candle, that is Tomosu. So, here, he or Tomosu, he's lighting a fire, or lighting the light on the candle. Rosoku ni hi o Tomosu. Dareda. And as the main character here lights up the room, someone screams, Dareda. Dare just means who, da to be. So who is it? Dareda. Ore da yo, jitan da yo. So a pretty simple sentence. Ore da yo. Ore is just a masculine way of saying me, da to be, your emphatic. So it's me, jitan da yo. So again, he uses dial to be emphatic. So Jitan is the name of Zidane in Japanese. Jitan. So Jitan dial, I'm Zidane. So it's me, Zidane. Ore dayo, Jitan dayo. Yo, Jitan, osokata janeka. Yo, it's like, hey, Jitan, hey, Zidane. Osokata was slow janeka, aren't you? So hey, Zidane, you're late, aren't you? Yo, Jitan, osokata janeka. Suman, tokoro de, bosu wa mou kiteru no ka? So we only have one new piece of language here. Suman just means a way of saying sorry, but this is more of a rough masculine way. Tokoro de is a new piece of language. This means by the way. So this is a super useful piece of language. As we can see, thanks to this dictionary pop up by Lorenzi's Jisho. So if you want to check out the dictionary I'm using for this video, that's lorenzi'sjisho.com. Here we can actually see the ranking of how often a piece of language is used. And this is an N3 piece of language that's in the top 1.5 most common pieces of language in anime and drama. Super useful. So, tokoro de, by the way, bosu, it just means a boss. Bosu wa, as for the boss, mo, already, kiteru, has come, no ka, a question. So, ah, uh, I'm sorry, by the way, has the boss already come? Suman, tokoro de, bosu wa mo kiteru no ka? Yeah, mada zura yo. 
Now this is a tough character here. So this character is speaking in very difficult Japanese, especially for a beginner. So just be careful about this guy <laughs> or girl. I'm, I'm not sure who they are really. They look like a bit of a monster. Um, but it says Inya Mada Zurayo. So this could probably trip you up a lot if you looked at this going, I don't know what any almost any of this means. Um, but this is actually just a lot of kind of uh, contracted language as well as kind of dialectal language in a way, kind of character language. And so this Inya is actually exactly the same as Iya, no. But it's just adding a bit more emphasis. It's almost being a bit rougher. So the Inya is like na, mother, not yet. And then we have Zura. Now you don't have to worry about this. This is something that you'll see at the end of this particular character when they speak, and it just kind of adds a bit of flavor to the personality. You often see this in Japanese in many different characters. Like for example, Naruto often ends his sentences in datebayo. Or like Reno from Final Fantasy VII ends his sentences with Dazotto. It's the same kind of thing, it's just adding a bit of character and personality. A little bit of flavor to the way they talk. So you can kind of consider this as being just meaningless, right? But it's just kind of giving an impression of how the character speaks. This Zura you don't see too often. Apparently it is actually a dialect used in some parts of Japan. And you actually do see it in Yorkai Watch. Some of the characters use it as well, but it's just not something you really need to worry about. Just imagine it adds this kind of flavor to the way the person's speaking. So he's a very rough kind of way of speaking. It's almost like an Inaka way. So, Inya, Madazurayo. So, nope, the boss still hasn't come. Inya, Madazurayo. Okay, so this big monster comes and attacks us. We attack it and its head kind of falls off. And so this guy, he says, Atama ga ite. All of this is language we've already previously covered. Atama is your head and then ite is itai. So my head hurts. Atama ga ite. And then he says, Chitta te nukaneka. So chitta is actually just a colloquial, very rough way of saying chotto wa. So as for just a little bit. Te nukane is te o nukanai, which just kind of means to not go easy on someone. So won't you go easy on me? Here we can see it also means to cut corners, to be shoddy with something. Te often means like your actual work at something and then nuku is to remove it, right? To do something shoddily, to cut corners, to go easy on someone, that kind of thing, right? So he says, well, won't you just go a bit easy on me? Omeira. So Omeira just is Omaeda, you guys. So he's saying, all right, guys, you guys. Omeira. Naka naka ude o ageta janeka. So most of this language we've already seen, naka naka is like considerably or quite a bit. Ude is your ability, your arm, so your ability at doing something. This is actually kind of similar to te as well, right? Your ability at doing something, right? But ude, your arm, or your ability, your skills at something. Ude o ageta means you've increased your abilities, and then janeka is janaika, haven't you? So, wow, you've grown quite a lot, that kind of thing. So you guys have got considerably better, huh? Naka naka ude o ageta janeka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here he's laughing, <laughs> that type of thing. He's just letting out a very bellied laugh, right? That ga ha ha ha. Ga ha 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 ha. Sa, kaigi Sa, well then. Kaigi is a new piece of language here at the end for, and a very, very, very common piece of language for a meeting. This is the word for like a meeting in Japanese. If you have like a meeting in a business or something like that, uh, some sort of where you all get together and plan, you know, what you're going to be doing, a meeting, that in Japanese is known as kaigi. And then he follows on with hajimendo. So hajimendo, I believe, is just hajimeru zo, but he's just speaking in a bit more of a rougher way. This do is very much the zo, right? The emphatic hajimeru zo, we're going to start it. So we're beginning the meeting. Sa, kaigi hajimendo. k 
今日の作戦の確認だ。Again, all of this language we've covered before. 今日 today, 作戦 means your like tactics, like your strategy in a battle. 確認 is to confirm something. 今日の作戦 today's strategy の確認 the confirmation. So let's confirm today's strategy. Or let's confirm today's plan. 今日の作戦の確認だ。我らの目指すはアレクサンドリア王国。我ら、us の目指すは、as for what we are 目指す、aiming for、アレクサンドリア、アレクサンドリア王国。And 王国 just means kind of a royal country, a kingdom. So, the thing that we are aiming for is Alexandria Kingdoms. Du, 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 du. We are Alexandria Kingdoms. So, we are Alexandria Kingdoms. Whoa, okay, we have a very big sentence here, and actually, only two pieces of new language, so let's go through it. We have So, we are a And then, warera, us, kaizoku is pirates or bandits. Tantarasu, dan, dan just means like a group or a band of something, and tantarasu is the name. So this is kind of the Tantalus group, the Tantalus party, the Tantalus team. So tantarasu dan no mokteki wa, mokteki is the aim, so the aim of us, the pirates of Tantalus. Kono, this, kuni, country, no ojo is a princess. Ganeto, that's Garnet, and then Hime is princess. O, Kasarao Kotoda. So, Kasarao is pretty much the only new word we have here. Technically, Garneto is also a new word,、um, but that's just, you know, Garnet, a type of stone.、Uh, but here, that's actually a character's name. But here, Kasarao is to snatch away, to kind of kidnap, to swipe, to nab, that type of thing. And then finish with Kotoda. It is. So, this is all describing the mokteki that we saw previously. So, our objective is to nab this country's princess, Princess Garnet. So, we are the Kaizoku Tantaras Dan no mokteki wa, Kono Koku no Ojo, Garnet to Hime o Kasara o Koto da. So, we are the Kaizoku Tantaras Dan no <laughs> so, this weird monster like guy, I'm really not too sure what he is. He looks like a kind of red nose chef hat, but he has a kind of hidden demon eyes. He's very, very strange character design.、Um, here he says, Sate, well then, Atoa, all that's left. Oida, here meaning I. This is a kind of pronoun that we can see for Oreda, but here it's pronoun for I. Oida ga setsume suru. And Setsume Sudo is just to explain. Zura again is his way of talking. So, well then, as for the rest, I'll explain it. Sate, ato wa oira ga Setsume Sudo Zura. Mou sugu, oira tachi no noteru fune ga Alexandria ni tochaku suru zura yo. Wow, and actually, apparently, we know all of this language. Let's go through it very quickly. Mou sugu, very soon. Oira tachi, us. No, no teiru, riding, fune, ship, ga, so the ship's gonna do something. Alexandria, Alexandria, ni tochaku suru. And that's to arrive at Alexandria, zura. So, very soon, the ship that we're riding on will arrive at Alexandria. Mo sugu, oida tachi no no teiru fune ga, Alexandria ni tochaku suru zura yo. Tochaku shita ra, oida tachi wa heizen to shita kao shite. When we arrive, oida tachi wa, as for us, and then we have this new piece of language, heizen toshita kao. So, heizen here means calm and composed. It's almost like completely flat in that way, right? So, very calm, composed, cool. Heizen toshita kao, that means your face. So, a composed face, o s h t e So, when we arrive, we have to act all composed and normal. So, a couple of new pieces of language in this sentence. Alexandria de, so at Alexandria. Dainingi means very popular. Shibai is a new piece of language at the N3 that means a play or a drama. Definitely a pretty useful word to know, especially if you like, you know, those big theatrical plays. That's what a shibai is. So, one of those big plays, kind of like Broadway type thing. Kimi no kotori ni naritai. 
This is the name of that play. Kimi means you, Kimi no yo. Kotori means a small bird. And we actually already saw this in one of the Pokemon episodes we're talking about a small bird. So, Kotori ni naritai. I want to become your small bird. <laughs> That's kind of the name of the play. So in the English version, this is called I want to be your canary, but in the Japanese, it's just I want to be your small bird. Uh, so definitely a little bit of creative addition here, turning small bird into canary in the English version. So I want to be your small bird or enjiru. And enjiru here is to act or perform in something, particularly shibai, a play. This is very much the verb when you're acting right, enjiru, you're playing a role, particularly in a play or a movie or something like that in a story, right? So, shibai kimi no kotori ni naritai o enjiru. To play a role in the play, I want to be your small bird. Alexandria de dainingki no shibai kimi no kotori ni naritai o enjiru zura. Tanomu zura yo, shuyaku no makasu san. Tanomu is like, I'm counting on you, zurayo. So being emphatic in the way he's talking. Shuyaku is a new piece of language, and this means the leading role, like the leading role in the play. So the leading actor, the leading actress. Shuyaku no Marcus. So Marcus, he's going to be the leading role. And he says Marcus son, which is just a way of adding honorific to that language. But because they're very close, he might actually be being a little bit in a jovial, joking way, calling him son, right? Because these guys are all quite close. So in a way he's kind of playing, he's like, you, Marcus, shall be the leading role. Tanomuzurayo, shuyaku no Marcus san Gambaru su. Dakedo, yukai sakusen no shuyaku wa jitan san to blanku aniki su. Gambaru is to do your best, and then su is just an abbreviation of des. This is almost like a little bit more of a casual polite, right? A casual polite way to say des. Gambaru su. I'll do my best. Dakedo. However, yukai is a new piece of language here that's very common. We can see the top 3000 anime drama, 3000 news, but it's not in the JLPT. And this is for the abduction, right? We already saw to nab someone with kasarao. Well, here is actually the noun for abduction, yukai. So yukai sakusen means the kind of plan to kidnap, no shuyaku. The leading role in the kidnapping plan is wa. Jitan san to buranku anikisu. Jitan Zidane, the guy in the yellow hair, to buranku, that's the other guy, the guy with the kind of red hair, and he says buranku anikisu. So aniki is just a way of referring to someone as kind of like a brother. So you could kind of look at this as saying that the people who are in the leading role of the kidnapping plan is Zidane and Big Bro Blank. Gambaru su. Dakedo. Yukai sakusen no shuyaku wa jitan san to blanku anikisu. Makowai ni ore ga koitsu de shiro no renshu o konran saseru to. Whoa, we have a super ultra mega piece of rare language right here. Makuai. This is the word for that interlude in a play. You know how often they might lower the curtains and have an interlude, a kind of break in between scenes or something? That here is makuai. And as you can see, it's a pretty rare piece of language. The top 88,000 anime and drama, 20,000 news. And literally, maku is the word for a curtain, and then I is the period, the interval. So literally, the period or interval of time when the curtains are put down. Makuai, the intermission. Makuai ni, so in the intermission, ore ga, I'm the one that's going to do something, koitsu de, with this thing, Shiro no, Shiro's castle, so the castles. Renchu o, doing something to the people of the castle. Konran saseru to. And konran suru is to go in chaos and ah, panic, and saseru is to make. So I will make all of those guys in the castle in a panic with this thing. And then the to at the end is just quoting what his role is. This is what he has to do. Makowai ni, ore ga koitsu de Shiro no renchu o konran saseru. Wow, it's crazy how much language we've already covered. Most of these sentences, we only have like one piece of new language. But he continues on and he says, Dakedo, however, domo, at any rate, kono, this, 
Booty Mushi. <laughs> Mushi is a bug, and the name of this bug is known as a booty. So this is the name of this monster bug thing in Final Fantasy IX. Booty Mushi Tenowa. So Tenowa, Toyu no wa. So the thing of this bug, Nigate. This is actually a super useful piece of language. We can see top 2000 in anime and drama to mean that you're poor at something, you're weak at something, you're not very good at it. It's not really your cup of tea. So this bug, Burimushi Teno wa Nigate da. It is. So I'm not very good with these kind of bugs. Dagedo, Domo, Kono Burimushi Teno wa Nigate da ze. Ma, shigata nai kara, gaman suru kedo yo. Wow, we know all of this, so ma. Well, anyway, shikata nai, it can't be helped. Kara, because or since. Gaman suru is to kind of put up with something. Kedo, however. And then yo, adding emphasis. So, well, it can't be helped, so I'll put up with it. Ma, shikata nai kara, gaman suru kedo yo. De, sono ato wa, jitan, omae no deban da ze. De, and then. Sono ato, that means after that, sono that ato after. We can see this is a very useful piece of language, top 500 Wikipedia, oh my god. <laughs> Wikipedia especially is very common. Sono ato, after that, wa, as for, so as for after that, jitan, zidain, omae, you, no deban. And deban is just your time to shine. This is your time to do your thing. De, sono ato wa, jitan, omae no deban da ze. Yosh, wakata. Sono ski ni gane to hime o yukai sureba in dana. And again, only one new piece of language in this sentence. Sono ski. So this ski here means a gap or a break in something. In that kind of opportunity. Imagine this is very much that space, that gap. So like there's that gap where it's like there's your chance and then boom, right in that ski, right in that gap. Sono ski ni gane to hime o. Doing something to the princess Garnet. Yukai sureba in da na. So yukai suru is to kidnap. Sureba, if I do it, e, it's good. So I just need to do that. Yukai sureba in da na. That's all I gotta do, right? In that interval, that's when I should kidnap princess Garnet. Yosh, wakata. Sono ski ni Garnet to hime o yukai sureba in da na. Soda. Wareware ga yukai suru no wa. Alexandria hajimatte irai no bikito narakai gane to hime. Oh, okay, finally we have quite a bit of new language here. So, wareware ga, so we, yukai suru no wa, as for who we are kidnapping, Alexandria hajimatte irai. So, hajimatte irai is kind of an expression here to mean the first in history. This word doesn't come up in any dictionary, but as we can see according to Weblio, it says that this is a kind of an event something that is the first in history, the very first. So, Alexandria hajimatte irai, the very first, biki to nadakai gane to hime. So, biki is a relatively rare word here that means a beautiful maiden. <laughs> so, the most beautiful princess in Alexandria's history. Biki to nadakai means someone of high status in their name, as in someone famous or renowned. So this is an N1 piece of language, so so the beautiful maiden and the well-known Garneto Hime, the Princess Garnet. So that is who we're going to be kidnapping, the well-renowned Princess Garnet, who is the most beautiful princess in the history of Alexandria. So Biki to narakai gane to hime.
アレクサンドリア城下町ねえ大丈夫えー、there we go we've now started the game、uh, we've had the opening scene such amazing graphics for the time this was absolutely beautiful still is really beautiful、um, but just amazing that this came out in what like the year 2000 I think what was that 23 years ago at least of the time of this recording oh my god What? How old was I? <laughs> 23 years ago! Anyway,、um, as we arrive in this town, we have this kind of on screen text and it says, Alexandria, Joka Machi. So there's one new piece of language here and that's Joka Machi. And this is actually a relatively useful piece of language, especially if you go to Japan and you kind of like travel around different areas, because there's actually kind of like these castle towns, right? These kind of samurai towns type places where you see that it's like very much、um, a town that was built around a castle. And Often, like tourist places that you might go to, right? But here in Final Fantasy IX, it's just literally actually a town around a castle. Jo is the castle, Ka is like the down, and then Machi is the town. So it's like the downtown area of a castle, right? That type of thing. Pretty useful word to get familiar with, especially for fantasy games. And this cute little guy wearing a hat falls over, and then this cute little girl asks the guy that just fell over, Ne, daijobu? Hey, are you okay? Ne, daijobu? And the guy in the hat seemed to have dropped something, so the girl picks it up, gives it back to him, and she says, Hi, Taisets na chiketto. So, a couple of new pieces of language, surprisingly. Hi is like, here you are. Taisets na is a na adjective to express that something is important. Taisets na chiketto, that's a ticket. So, an important ticket. So, here is your precious ticket. Hi, Taisets na chiketto. Hi. And then she says goodbye to him with, Jane, see ya, bye, ciao, that type of thing. Jane. Jane. <laughs> Omae, jama nan da yo. Ah, the music. <laughs> this is great.、Um, so, this little rat guy bumps into the main character and he says, Omae. Jama nan da yo. So, Omae is a rude way of saying you. Jama is to get in the way, to be a kind of hindrance. Nanda, it is that. And then you're emphatic. So, hey, you're in the way. Omae, jama nan da yo. Omae, jama nan da yo. Sa, tore no kara o koshi no kizoku no mina sama. Alexandria jo wa. <laughs> so creative, these little characters. I love it.、Uh, so we have a kind of penguin looking guy in a hat <laughs> guiding these、uh, very important looking people. And he is a gaido, that's a guide. And he says, Sa, well then, Toreno kara. Toreno is a city in Final Fantasy IX. Kara means from. So from Toreno. Or koshi, this is to come. This is a piece of language we saw in the Kirby episode, but this is an honorific way of expressing someone coming. So, o koshi no kizoku, kizoku are the nobles. As you can see, they're very pompous with their fluffy hats and furry coats and things like that. They are kizoku, that is, the nobles or the aristocrats. Kizoku no minasama, Mina just means everyone. Sama is a way of being honorific again. So he's speaking in very honorific here, Sonkego speech, so talking to others in an honorable way.、Um, here, talking to these aristocrats, these nobles, Kizoku. So, well then, everyone, nobles from Toreno, Alexandria Jo wa. As for the castle of Alexandria, Kochira des Zo. Kochira, this way, des to be, and then Zo emphatic. So, well, all of the nobles from Treno, Alexandria Castle is this way. Sa, Toreno Kara, o Koshi no Kizoku no Mina Sama, Alexandria Jo wa, Kochira des Zo. ブースを覗く
And so we've arrived at this kind of large marketplace and in the middle there is a kind of ticket booth. And we can see that here with chiketto busu o nozoku. So, chiketto we already know as a ticket, busu is a booth, so chiketto busu is a ticket booth, and then o, we're doing something to the booth, nozoku. Now, nozoku is often to peep, to peer into something, and here it's to kind of look into the store, look into the booth, to kind of just pop your head in. And perhaps because the main character here is quite small, right, he's kind of peeping his head into the store, that type of thing. So that's what nozoku here is expressing. Chiketto busu o nozoku. Nanka goyo. So nanka just means some kind of, and then goyo, yo means you have some sort of business with something. And the go that's coming before it is actually an honorific prefix used before words to make them honorable. Here he's talking about someone else's yo, someone else's business, and he's doing this in a polite honorific way. So your business. As we can see also in definition number two, it could be a customer's order, but here it's more your business. So do you have some kind of business? Nanka goyo. Nanka goyo. Now we can actually see a kind of description of this main character so far, as we don't yet know their name, and it actually says Tongari boshi no otoko no ko. So tongari means sharp, as in something kind of tapers to a point. It goes wide and then goes up into a kind of thin point, like a triangle, right? So tongari boshi, boshi is a hat, so a hat that's kind of in the shape of a cone, right? And so it's like a pointy hat. Tongari boshi. So a pointy hat boy. Tongari boshi no otoko no ko. And so here he says, mm, Mm so that's kind of like eh to he's thinking and we have this option chiketto o miseru so chiketto is the ticket o miseru is to show so show the ticket mm to chiketto o miseru oya sono chiketto wa nanka hen da ne Wow, so many sentences in this video that we've actually seen all of the language. Oya, oh, sono chiketto, that ticket, wa, as for that ticket, nanka, kind of, hen da ne, strange, hen is strange. So, hm, huh? that ticket, it's kind of strange. Oya, sono chiketto wa, nanka hen da ne. Korea, nise mono da na, saikin oin da yo ne. Oh no, and so Korea is like Kore wa, so as for this, Nisemono means it is a fake. So any kind of like counterfeit, fake thing, like if you have a fake brand clothing, right? If you don't have the official Game Genko merch, <laughs> you get the merch from somewhere else, that would be Nisemono, <laughs> fake good. <laughs> so this is a fake ticket, Nisemono. Korea, Nisemono da na. Saikin means recently, absolutely a central piece of language. Whenever you want to say about like something's happened recently, this is the word you want to use. So recently, lately, these days, saikin, oi means a lot, nda it is. And then yone, he's being emphatic, but he's also kind of like, you know? So, ah, this is a fake. Recently, there's been a lot of that, you know? Korea, nise mono da na. Saikin oi nda yo ne. Sonnani like that, gakkari suru na yo. Gakkari suru is to kind of be really disappointed in something, kind of, oh. Gakkari suru na means don't do it, and then you're being emphatic. So, hey, don't be depressed, don't be disappointed. Kimochi wa wakaru kedo sa. So kimochi is your feelings, wa, as for those feelings, wakaru, understand, kedo sa. I understand, however. So hey, don't be depressed, hey, don't be disappointed. Although, I do understand your feelings. Sonna ni gakkari suru na yo, kimochi wa wakaru kedo sa. Souda, kore demo yaru kara sa, genki o dashi na yo. Soda is like, ah, right, I know. Kore demo, so even this, yaru kara sa. Yaru is like to give kara because sa, you know. So, ah, that's right, look, this, I'll give it to you. So, genki o dashi na yo. 
So genki o dasu just means to cheer up. Now, this genki o dashi na yo isn't the same as genki o dasu na yo. Like what we saw previously with the gakkari suru na yo. That means don't get disappointed. But actually, this use of the na is different because we have the mas stem. Genki o dashi na is actually short for genki o dashi na sai. Telling someone to do something. So, genki o dashi na sai is like, hey, cheer up. They're telling you to cheer up. But this is just contracted into genki o dashi na. Cheer up. So, da. Kore de mo yaru kara sa. Genki o dashi na yo. Goblin no kado o te ni ireta. So he's actually given us some cards to make up for the fact that our ticket was a nisemono, that it was a fake. So we have goburin no kado o te ni ireta. Goburin is a goblin. Goburin no kado is a goblin card, like we can see on the screen. So a goblin card o te ni ireta. And te ni ireta means you obtained something. Te ni ireru. Super useful piece of language for any video game. This is the word for obtaining something. If you obtain something, you get something, you obtain some sort of item or anything like that, this is the word for obtain. So very, very useful piece of language. Te ni ireta. So te ni ireru. Goblin no kado o te ni ireta. Fangu no kado o te ni ireta. And again, we got a fang card. Fangu no kado o te ni ireta. Fangu no kado o te ni ireta. Skeleton no kado o te ni ireta. And then finally, we got a skeleton card. Skeleton no kado o te ni ireta. Skeleton no kado o te ni ireta. Kado no koto nara, ura doori no jack te yatsu ni kikeba. Would you believe it? Only one of these pieces of language is new. Kado no koto nara. Kado is the card. Koto is like about nara if. So if about cards. Ura dori. This is the new piece of language. This means kind of back alley. Ura is like in the back, and then dori is like an avenue or road. So the back road, the back alley. No jack. So back alley jack te. Yatsu. Toyu Yatsu. Yatsu is a guy, Toyu, that's what they're called. So the guy called Back Alley Jack ni kikeba. If you ask him, iroiro, various, oshiete kureru, he will teach you. Hazu, should, expected to be, dayo, it is. So it's expected that he'll teach you lots of different things. Ja, well then. Kado no koto nara, ura dori no jack te yatsu ni kikeba. いろいろ教えてくれるはずだよ。じゃあ。さあ、おめえが溶けるから外れちまったじゃねえか。So this cute little mole dog guy, he says, "Ta." So ta is kind of like taku, right? He's kind of like getting a bit frustrated or jeez, right? Oh jeez. Ome omae ga kokeru. This is a new piece of language, and this means to kind of trip over, to stumble over. As we just saw, the cute little guy with the pointy hat, he fell over, right? So that's kokeru. Kokeru kara, because you fell over. Hazure chimata. And hazureru is just to kind of get out of place. It's kind of like in this spot where it's supposed to be and it's kind of disconnected in that way, right? So hazure chimata means it regretfully or completely was disconnected, it was out of place. And then janeka, janaika, isn't it? So ah, because you fell, it got disconnected. Here referring to the sign that kind of swung off. Ah. Ta. Omega kokeru kara. That's very much exhaling, just like in English, right? Kore de with this naota kana. So naoru here is a new piece of language to be mended, to be repaired, to be fixed. So the sign is fixed. Kore de with this kana. I wonder. Hey, 
今日の仕事はこれで終わりだ。So, 今日の仕事は、今日 today 仕事 work。So, 今日の仕事は、ends for today's work。これで、with this 終わりだ。And that means it's over, it's finished. So, he's like, ah,、oh, there we go, my day is finished. 今日の仕事はこれで終わりだ。おい、お前、さっき持ってたチケットが偽物だって言われてただろ。ああ、here we have that little rat guy again, so Nezumi no corpse, that's kind of a child that is a mouse or a rat. <laughs> And he says, おい、hey, お前、you, さっき earlier 持ってた what you held, チケット so the ticket that you held が偽物だって。So, 偽物 fake だって。So he's kind of quoting something. Iware teta, that's what someone said. Daro, right? So if we put this all together, hey, it's you! You're the one that was holding the ticket before that was told that it was a fake, right? Oi, omae, saki moteta chiketto ga nisemono date iware teta daro. Ore wa mite tan da ze? Um, nisemono datta. Ore, mi, wa, as for me, mi teta, I saw, n da ze, it is that. So I saw it. Un,、mm. yes, nisemono, fake, data, it was, so yeah, it was a fake. Un,、mm. nisemono data. Ore no kerai ni nareba, kyo no shibai o misete yaru. So we have one new piece of language here. Ore, mi, no kerai. Now, this is an N1 piece of language that's pretty rare. We can see it's in the top 10 to 20,000 most useful words.、Um, this is for a retainer, and this is usually something that you only see in, like, you know, kind of fantasy settings where you have, like, a samurai in their retainer or something like that, or a lord in their retainer, that type of thing. But it is still definitely common that we see, especially in anime and drama,、uh, you know, the top 9.5k. And here he's saying his servant, Ore no kerai ni nareba, if you become my servant, or, you know, You know, my retainer type thing. Kyo no shibai, today's play o misete aru. I will show you. So if you become my retainer or if you become my servant, I'll show you today's play. Ore no kerai ni nareba, kyo no shibai o misete aru. Kerai ni naru ka? Wakata. So, kerai ni naru ka? Will you become my retainer? And I've decided to reply with Wakata. Okay, I got it. I will. Wakata. Yosh, so to kimatara, sasok mele da. Yet another sentence we know all the language. Yosh, alrighty. So to kimatara, so means in that way. Kimaru is to be decided. Tada, if it's the case. So if it's decided in that way, right? Decided that you're going to be his kedai. Sasoku, immediately, mele da. And mere is like an order. So, if you're gonna be my retainer, let's start you off. Immediately, I've got some orders for you. Yosh, so to kimatara, sasok mere da. Omae, achi kara hito ga konai ka, mi hatero. Omae, you, achi is like over there, as we can see kind of like where the light is coming from. That's achi, that direction. Kara, from over there, hito ga konai, hito people konai not come, ka. So, whether or not they won't come, mi hatero. And here, this new piece of language, mi haru, this is to kind of stand guard and to keep an eye out on something, to make watch, right? And what are we looking for? The thing that came before it. Hito ga konai. That they won't come from over there. Achi kara. Omae, achi kara hito ga konai ka, mi hatero. Dare mo konai ka? Oh, konai. So, very quickly, dare mo, no one, konai, not coming, ka, a question. So, no one's coming, and then the character replies with, m,、mm, konai, yes, no one's coming. Dare mo konai ka? Oh, konai. Yosh, ja, keikaku jikko da. Oh, we have a few new pieces of language here. So, yosh, alright, ja, well then, and then we have keikaku jikko. 
So Keikaku is like a plan. All according to Keikaku. <laughs> if you've seen that meme from Death Note, <laughs> Keikaku is like a plan for something. <laughs> As we can see, it's a really, really common piece of language in the top 1.5, 500, 500. Apparently it's not in the JLPT, but I don't necessarily believe that. I think it's probably in the JLPT. It's got to be like N5, N4, right? It has to be. It's Keikaku. <laughs> uh, but apparently it's not according to Lorenzi's Jisho. And then we have Jiko, and this means to kind of implement something to make something in motion. So we're going to be executing our plans. All right, let's commence the plan. Yosh, ja, keikaku jikkou da. Goju giru nusumareta. This always happens to me. I forget that this guy <laughs> steals money off of you. Uh, so there's this kind of multiple armed guy. Uh, and I think he's actually the card guy that I was supposed to look for. I think he's Jack. I'm, I'm not sure actually, I've forgotten. Um, but I'm pretty sure the guy they talked about earlier before, the Uradori no Jaku. I think that's him maybe. Uh, but anyway, this guy stole money off of us. And so we can see Goju Giru. Giru is the currency in this game, Gil. So Goju Giru. 50 gil, and then we have nusumareta. This is actually a new piece of language. Nusumu is to steal, right? This is the verb for stealing, nusumu. And then nusumareta is the passive. You were, you had stolen, right? It was stolen. So 50 gil was stolen from you. 50 gil nusumareta. Hora. Kochi da. So hora is come on. Kochi this way da. It's this way. So come on this way. Hora. Kochi da. Okurezu ni tsuite koi yo. Okureru is to be late, but here it's zuni. This is without, without being late. Okurezu ni tsuite koi. And then tsuite kuru is the next piece of new language we have here is to follow or to come along. So to kind of follow me, right? So without being late, follow me. Whoa, okay, we have a pretty rare piece of language right here, sento. As we can see, the top 88,000, so a very rare piece of language. I'm really not too sure if I've seen this too often, like I can't really imagine perhaps in like The Witcher 3 or something. Uh, this is the word for a spire, a steeple, a pinnacle. Uh, as we can see, it's the kind of the church building, that kind of building there, Sento. And actually really interestingly enough, the first kanji here is the same kanji that we saw when we were looking at the pointed hat, Tongari Boshi, right? It's the same kanji. This is a really easy kanji to remember because literally the bottom part is big, the kanji for big, and the top part is the kanji for small big to small, right? <laughs> so it's the point, like it's so easy to remember this kanji. So the sento here, and then the to part here, we're actually gonna see a little bit more of this later, but this is the word for a tower, right? So it's the pointy tower, right? Then that in a way is what a spire is. So sento no naka, naka is inside, ni hairu, that's to go in, and then zo emphasis. So let's go inside the spire. Sento no naka ni hairu zo. <laughs> this music, man, it brings me back. So here, the Nezumi says to me, guy, he says, Kore kara, from here, kono, this, and now we have to, the tower, right? So this is just the word by itself. N3, much more common way of saying a tower. This is the word that you use when you want to say a tower normally. Um, kono to no ue, so the top, ni, so to the top, and then nobokara, this is noboru to climb, kara because. So, because we're going to the very top of this tower. Korekara, kono to no e ni nobokara. Omae, saki ni nobote miro. Omae, you, saki ni, this means ahead, so you go first. Nobote, to climb, we just saw again and then te miru to try and do. So here, te miro, this is the imperative form. So you, you climb ahead first. Omae, saki ni nobote miro. Wa! Nanda sono zama wa? What a 
<laughs> so he knew this was going to happen. A cute little Moogle fell down uh, from the tower right onto this poor guy's little head. And so he starts laughing and he's like, ah, <laughs> Nanda sono zama wa. Nanda is like, what is that? Sono that. And then zama is like your state, the way you are. This is kind of like being in a mess, being in a sorry state, that type of thing, right? Like the poor little guy is getting bounced on by this Moogle, so he's laughing at him, right? He's laughing at his position. And this Zama is that kind of state. It's very similar to the word Yosu, right? The way someone appears. Wa! <laughs> Nanda sono Zama wa? Odorokasete, gomen kupo. Yay! We have the return of the Moogles. Wow, how long has it been since I've seen a Moogle? I don't know, it's been a while. I feel like Moogles haven't really been in too many Final Fantasies as much uh, as they used to be. First we have Odorokasete. So pretty simply, Odoroku is to surprise, but Odorokaseru, this is to make someone surprised. This is more of a causative form, right? So to make you scared, Whoa, to make you surprised, Gomen, I'm sorry. Now we can see this guy finishes his sentence with Kupo. And this is yet again another case of where you can see in Japanese that the end of the sentence is often used to kind of add the feeling or the flavor or the characteristic uh, of how the sentence is said. Like we saw this previously with Zuda and things like that, right? And here, this is the way Moogles talk. So most of their sentences end in kupo. There's no meaning to it, it's just how they speak. And I believe actually in the English version they just translated it actually as Kupo. I'm not sure if they did the same thing for Zuda. I actually can't remember the last time I played the game in English. You'll have to let me know if they if they used Zuda uh, in English or not. But often they don't translate it, like Datebayo for Naruto, that's not translated in English. They don't write Datebayo, they, they actually say believe it. <laughs> which is terrible, um, but sometimes it's best not to translate it or localize it or anything. But here, just Kupo, here, he's the way he's talking. So he's like, oh, I'm sorry for surprising you, Kupo. Interesting. So, Soitsu, that guy, wana. So this is the same as wane. That guy is, you know, soitsu wa na, soitsu wa ne. Moguri, that's the Moogle. Moguri in Japanese, that's how you say Moogle. Moguri no kupo te yatsu. So apparently this little Moogle, his name is actually Kupo. <laughs> I believe all Moogles do end their sentence in Kupo though, so just something to keep in mind. But this Moogle's actual name is Kupo as well. <laughs> So he just replies with Kupo! Kupo! And now he's introducing his Kerai to the Moogle. Ore no Kerai, my retainer. Daiichi means the very first. Dai is often used for like ordinal numbers, so how counting the number, almost like a hashtag in a way. And then Ichi is one. Dai Ichi, the number one. And then Go is the counter of the numbers. So Dai Ichi Go, the very first number. So this is my very first retainer, my very first servant. Ore no kerai dai ichi go da. Yoroshiku shite yatte kure. Yoroshiku is to kind of take care of or to kind of get along well together. Shite yatte to do te kure for me. So get along together well with him for me. Yoroshiku shite yatte kure. Kupo, yoroshiku. <laughs> Why is this guy so cute? Kupo, yoroshiku. So nice to meet you, Kupo. Kupo, yoroshiku. Nice, a few new pieces of language. Owabi ni. This first piece of language right here is new and this means an apology. Owabi is that apology. Owabi ni, so kind of as an apology. Kimi no koto, the thing of you, so about you. Moguri no kiroku cho, so the Moogles. Kiroku, that's like the record, and then Cho, this is actually a new piece of language. This is like a register or a book. So like the Moogle's record book or the record register, right, the register of things. Ni kaite ageru. Now kaku is to write, kaite ageru is I'll write for you. So if we put all of this together as an apology, I will write about you in the Moogle's record book. 
お詫びに君のことモーグリの記録帳に書いてあげるよもし保存ブロックにセーブしたくなったら僕たちモーグリに話しかけるくぼう OK now he explains a bit more about the saving in his book もし means if 保存 is a super useful piece of language. This means to save. Apparently, this is a new piece of language. Very, 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 very important. This is what you need to look for when you want to save. Sometimes you'll see just sebu, and that's totally fine as well in katakana, but this is actually the Japanese word that you would use instead of sebu、uh, for saving in katakana. This is it, hozon. So, hozon buroku. This means the kind of save block, like you have the blocks in your save files. Hozon broku ni sebu shitaku na dara. Oh, and here's actually the katakana, sebu. So this is the katakana version of hozon. Sebu shitaku na dara. If you want to save, boku tachi, us, moguri, so us mugus ni, so to us mugus, hanash kakeru. And this is to approach and talk. Kakeru is a pretty complicated piece of language that you'll see used in a million different ways. But here, kind of think of it like you're beginning, initiating the process of doing this hanashi. Hanasu is just to talk. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> But hanashi kakeru is to like begin to talk. You go up to someone and start talking. You walk up to him and press the button to start talking, right? That's the hanashi kakeru. So talk to us. Boktachi moguri ni hanashi kakeru kubo. もし保存ブロックにセーブしたくなったら僕たちモーグリに話しかけるくぼうあとテントを持っていれば体力を回復することもできるくぼう Wow, actually we only have one new piece of language in this sentence so far あと that means after that or what's left Tento. This is the new piece of language. This is just for a tent.、Uh, so, this may sound strange. He's suddenly talking about a tent, but、uh, let's just have a little bit of a look. Tento o motte ireba. Motsu is to possess or hold. Motte ireba. If you are possessing a tent, if you have a tent, tai ryoku, that's your physical strength, or kai fukusuru, that's to restore. Koto mo dekiru, you're also able to do. Kupo. <laughs> so, if you have a tent at these like save points, you can also restore your energy, your physical health, your HP. And that's what a tent does in Final Fantasy.、Uh, when you're at a save point or you're on the world map, you can use a tent and it'll heal all of your party members to full. Ato, tento o motte ireba, tai ryo ku o k a i f u k u s u r u k o t o mo d e k i r u kupo? Wakatta kupo? Wakatta. Wakatta kupo? Do you understand kupo? Hmm, Wakata, I understand. Wakata kupo? Wakata. Kore kara mo, yoroshi kupo! <laughs> That's adorable. So, there's a little bit of、uh, wordplay here. Kore kara mo, yoroshi ku. Is normally the way you would say this sentence, right? Kore kara mo yoroshi ku. So, kore kara means from here, mo also yoroshi ku. Let's get well along together, right? But put it together, From here on out, let's get along together. He's made the Yoroshku into Yoroshkupo. <laughs> so he's just kind of blended Yoroshku and Kupo together. So that's kind of funny. Kore kara mo Yoroshkupo! Saate, soro soro noboro ze. Saate, well now, soro soro is like about now. Noboro is the volitional form. Let's climb. And then ze adding emphasis. So, well then. It's about time we start climbing. Let's climb. Saate, soro soro noboro ze. Oi, hayaku nobote koi yo. Oi, hey, hayaku, quickly, nobote koi, come climb up. Oi, hayaku nobote koi yo. Kupo, Yuruka! Oh, we have another new Moogle, and his name is called Stiltskin. So, Stiltskin. And he says, Kupo, Yuruka! So he's talking to the other Moogle, Kupo, and he says, Kupo, Yuru. Yuru means to exist, and then Ka a question. So, oh, Kupo, you're here! Kupo, Yuruka! Kupo! Stiltskin! その格好はもしかして。Wow, okay, now he's actually using kupo as a beginning of the sentence instead of at the end. So, kupo, hey! 
still skin. So, hey, still skin. その格好はもしかして。その means that. And then we have 格好 Now, actually, we already know this piece of language, but this means your appearance, your state. I believe we actually even saw this in the very first episode of the whole vocab series.、Um, so, as for your appearance, その格好はもしかして。If by chance. So, as you can see, he's kind of got a bag ready for travel. That's what he's referring to here. Kupo! Still skin! Some kako wa moshka ste! Mata tabi ni deru kupo! Mata again. Tabi is a journey. On a journey, tabi ni deru. To embark, to go, kupo. <laughs> so, are you going on a journey again, kupo? Mata tabi ni deru kupo! Ah! Incredible. Again, only one new piece of language in this sentence. Ah, yes. Kondo no tabi wa, as for this time's journey, chotto, a little bit, nagaku naru, become long, kamo shirenai na. And kamo shirenai just means maybe, perhaps, or it's possible. So it's possible that this trip from here may get a little bit longer. Ah! Ooh, a very useful piece of language here. Sabishi. So he says, Sabishiku naru kupo. Sabishi just means to get sad, lonely, in a way desolate, right? To be kind of, oh, I'm so sad. This is the word、uh, to be kind of sad. Very, very useful. This honestly should probably be an N5 piece of language. It's so useful. Although, very interesting, depending on the source that you see language used, will change its usefulness. Like, for example, have a look at this difference anime and drama, 1.5k. That's how common it is, right? That's absolutely core essential piece of language without question. But then look at the news and Wikipedia. Top 16,000. So this is because in the news or in Wikipedia, emotion is very rarely talked about. And that's why it's so rare in those situations. And so that's one thing to keep in mind, especially with all of these like core decks when you study Japanese. You have to look at. What target are these actually made for? A lot of those resources, as well as textbooks, are made to help you read newspapers and things like that. And if Sabishi is not that common, I think that's why it got pushed to the N4 rather than being an N5. And there's all kinds of things happening here. And it's just one thing to keep in mind is just the level ranking for something doesn't necessarily indicate how useful it is. It doesn't necessarily indicate how much you should pay attention to it. There are some pieces of N1 that you should pay attention to and that you should know much more than some N4 pieces of language. And so the level of the language is very difficult in actually determining how useful that piece of language is for you. And that's why I think resources like this or any other resource that has like a ranking of how often the word is used and exactly where it's used can really change your life in kind of knowing, ah, this is definitely going to be useful even if it's kind of a later level. Tokidoki, sometimes. Tegami, this is actually a new piece of language. This is a letter! <laughs> Can't believe this is the first time. Very, very essential piece of language. I think most students probably learn this on the first day of class. Tegami is a letter. Dasu is to kind of put out, to send out. Kara because yo. So I'll send you a letter sometimes, you know. Shinpai, worry, wa, as for shinpai, as for worry, shinai de kure. Don't do it. So I'll be sending you letters sometimes, so don't worry. Toki doki, tegami o dasu kara yo. Shinpai wa shinai de kure. Wakata kupo. Wakata kupo. Wakata, I understand kupo. I think I'm gonna go crazy with all these kupo, kupo, kupos. <laughs> So, this genki de iro is very, very similar to like genki de ne, like take care of yourself, be well. Iro is just being a little bit more imperative, a little bit more stronger. So, you know, well then, see ya, take care of yourself, that kind of thing. Jana, genki de iro yo. Shiro ni iru moshu tachi ni mo, yoroshu tsutai te oite kore. Shiro ni iru moshu tachi ni mo, yoroshu tsutai te oite kore. So, Shiro is a castle, ni iru, existing in the castle, Moshu tachi. So, there's someone called Moshu, 
but Tachi implies more than one, so Mosh and the others. Mosh Tachi ni mo, also to Mosh Tachi, Yoroshiku, get along, be well, Stayete oite kure. Now this is a new piece of language, stayeru, this is a super essential piece of language for conveying, expressing something like a message or a feeling or something like that. To convey, to express is stayeru. Super useful piece of language right here. So express my regards to Moshu when you see them in the castle. Shiro ni iru Moshu tachi ni mo yoroshiku tsutaete oite kure. Imanoa Ima means now, noa, as for the thing of now, or tomodachi. So tomodachi is just a friend, or is a polite prefix, and then nano, kind of a soft way of asking a question rather than ka or deska or something like that. It's like, so that just now, is that one of your friends? Imanoa otomodachi nano? Sokupo! Sasurai no otomodachi kupo! So, that's right, Kupo. <laughs> Sasurai, this is a rare piece of language, top 26,000. This means wandering. So he's a wandering Mughal, right? Sasurai no otomodachi. So he's a wandering friend, a friend in exile, a friend, you know, like a wandering samurai, that type of thing. So, Kupo, Sasurai no otomodachi Kupo. Oi, hayaku nobotte koite, iteru daro. <laughs> and then we have the rat getting more and more annoyed, and he repeats what he said previously. Oi, hey, Hayaku, quickly, nobotte koi, climb up. But then he has te, iteru daro. So this is kind of saying, I just told you, I've been telling you, I'm telling you, quickly climb up. So te is quoting what he's telling you, iteru is, that's what I'm saying, daro, right? So hey, I'm telling you to get up here quick, right? Oi, Hayaku nobotte koi te, iteru daro. Sa, isoganaito, shibai ga hajimachi maoze. Sa, well then, isoganaito, we gotta hurry. Shibai, the play ga hajimachi mao. It will regretfully start. Sa, isoganaito, shibai ga hajimachi maoze. Nani shiten da yo, hayaku koi yo. Nani shiten da yo, it's like, what the hell are you doing? Hayaku koi yo, come on, quickly. Nice, another N5 piece of language that's essential we've got here. So, omae, you, moshikashite, perhaps by chance, takai. So this means high. Can't believe we've never seen this word before, but apparently, according to our data, we haven't seen this yet. So, takai is tall or high. Takai tokoro is high places. Ga Nigate. And we saw this previously. Nigate means when you're kind of bad at something, right? It's kind of, you're not so good at it. It's not your forte, right? So here he's implying that he's kind of afraid of heights. If by chance you're not very good with high places. Omae, moshikashite, takai tokoro ga nigate na no ka? Daijoubu da yo. Koko ga takai tokoro da to omo wa nakereba in da. Incredible. We've seen all of this language before. So, daijoubu da yo. It's okay, I'm telling you. Koko here ga takai tokoro. This is a high place. Da to. So now we're quoting. This is a high place. To. And then we have a bit of a long one here. Let's see how well you can do. Omo wa nakereba inda. So omo is to think. Omo wa nai to not think. Omo wa nakereba. If you don't think, e. It's okay. Nda explaining. So if you just don't think that this is a high place, it'll be okay. <laughs> so that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, just don't think it's high. Just think that it's on the ground and you should be fine. Daijoubu da yo. Koko ga takai tokoro da to omo wa nakereba in da. Ora ora, koshi o nukashite ru hima wa nai ze. Ooh, we've got some new language now. So, ora ora is like, hey, come on, being very kind of pushy. Koshi is your hips, and then nukasu is to kind of go out. But that's not what's happening here. When you put them together, 
koshi o nukasu is actually to be unable to stand up due to fear. This is actually something that happens to me, unfortunately. Uh, whenever I get up in high places, I just my legs just freeze and my whole body kind of shrinks. <laughs> Even if I see someone like at the edge of like a really high place, like for example, my wife, uh, we went kind of near her um, hometown and there was this place that was very high up and it was kind of in the mountains and I was, she was standing near the bridge. And I was like, no, <laughs> really like protective, like my whole body shrinks down. So I would say that unfortunately uh, I'm a victim of koshi o nukasu. <laughs> I am someone who uh, definitely often koshi o nukasu. <laughs> I often kind of uh, can't stand up due to fear, especially from heights. So I'm very similar to the main character here. And then he says, Hima wa nai ze. So Hima just means that you have kind of spare time. Hima wa nai means we don't have that kind of spare time, that luxury. Ze being emphatic. So come on, we don't have the time for you to be getting scared of heights. Ora ora, koshi o nukashiteru hima wa nai ze. Mata kayo. Mata again, and then Kayo is like questioning, almost like as if. It's like, ugh, again? Mata Kayo. Daijoubu datte. Bibin na yo. Ochinai te. Ooh, definitely some interesting pieces of language to keep in mind for a little bit later. So here the guy says, Daijoubu datte. So Daijoubu to be alright, datte, I'm telling you. Bibin na yo. So. Bibiru is to kind of shake in fear, to be very, very scared. We saw this from Final Fantasy VIII, I believe when Cypher was making fun of Zell, he was like, don't be a chicken. <laughs> and he was, you know, don't, don't be <laughs> Bibiru. <laughs> but this expression right here is something you'll often see, Bibin Nayo, especially in like anime video games and stuff. And this is like, don't be a scaredy cat. Ochinaite. Ochiru is to fall, ochinai to not fall, te, I'm telling you. So it'll be fine. You don't be a scaredy cat. I'm telling you, it won't fall. Daijoubu datte. Bibin na yo. Ochinai te. Ochita na. <laughs> and he kind of nervously laughs. <laughs> Ochita na. So, Ochiru to fall, it fell. Na, right. So, ooh, <laughs> it fell, huh? <laughs> Ochita na. Ma, komakai koto wa kini suru na te. Ma, well then, komakai means kind of fine and koto thing. When you put it together, it's this expression. Komakai koto. Kind of small details, minor details. Komakai koto wa, so as for the minor details, kini suru na. So kini suru is to worry about, na, don't, te, I'm telling you. So, meh, don't worry about small details. Ma, komakai koto wa kini suru na te. Tokoro de yo. And we see this again for the second time in this episode, tokoro de. So this means by the way, and then you're being emphatic. So hey, you know, by the way. Tokoro de yo. Omae no namae, mada kite nakata yo na. Omae, you, omae no namae, your name, mada still haven't kite nakata. I haven't asked your na, right? So I still haven't asked your name, huh? Omae no namae, mada kite nakata yo na. So ka. <laughs> and this is the part that I was telling you to remember that word for because this is something I actually never realized in the whole time I played Final Fantasy. This is just one of those small little treats you can get if you learn Japanese. You can kind of see things in a completely different way. So, soka is that so, and then he says, bibi te yu no ka. So, this is te yu no ka, is that what you're called? And this character's name is called bibi. Which is very, very similar to the verb we just saw, bibiru, to be scared. So I wonder, I wonder, I don't know, but I certainly wonder if it's not a coincidence that Vivi in English is known as Bibi in Japanese, that he is actually called Bibi because he is often scared. He is a bit of a scared, polite boy for most of the game until he kind of later on, right? So Bibi, Bibiru, to be scared, his name is just Bibi. Perhaps there's a connection. Maybe not, I'm not sure, but oh, that's very interesting. I've never noticed that and I've been playing this game for a very long time. This is the first time I noticed. <laughs> so ka, Bibi te yu no ka. 
ちょっと変わった名前だな。ちょっと、just a little bit。変わった means strange。and then 名前、a name だな。right? so that's a bit of a weird name, huh? ちょっと変わった名前だな。俺はパックって言うんだ。これからもよろしくな。俺は、as for me, パック。so his name is パック。てゆんだ。So the てゆんだ is the same as といゆんだ。It's just the more casual way of saying it. So my name is called Puck. これからもよろしくな。So as I said before, right, you normally see this expression all together without the kupo at the end. Here it is now. So my name is Puck. Let's get along together. 俺はパックてゆんだ。これからもよろしくな。やっとたどり着いたぜ。ふう、indeed。そう、ふう。やっと、finally、たどり着いた。たどり着く is to arrive somewhere。but it's kind of like after a bit of a struggle、right?、Like, to、着く is actually just arriving、right?。or just ついた。Or tsuku is also just to arrive. But this tadori tsuita is like you've kind of had a bit of a journey, a bit of an arduous journey, and you've finally arrived, right? So, やっと、たどり着いたぜ。We finally arrived. And just a quick note, by the way, you may not have noticed, but the last six sentences, we had no new language. That is incredible. We've come such a long way. Six sentences in this game with all fantasy language, no new language so far. <laughs> That's incredible. この壁を越えればもう城の中だ。この this Kabe, the wall. This is a new piece of language. As we can see, there's that wall behind us. That is Kabe. That's the wall. Kono Kabe o koereba. So, koeru is to kind of go over. Koereba, if we're able to go over. So, when we go over the wall, mo already shiro no naka. Inside the castle. Da, it is. So, once we climb this wall, we're in the castle. Kono Kabe o koereba, mo shiro no naka da. さあ、行こうぜ。さあ、well then, 行こうぜ。let's go。さあ、行こうぜ。さて、お集まりの皆様。Okay, we finally made it to the play. And so here we have the opening of the play. And that guy we saw previously, I believe his name's actually Baku or something. He says, さて、お集まりの皆様。So, さて、well then, お集まり。So, atsumaru is to kind of gather, to collect. And here, atsumari is talking about the gathering of people. And he's talking in a keigo way, he's talking in an honorific way to everyone else because o atsumari. So, everyone's collection, no minasama, that's everyone. So, well then, the gathering of everybody. Saate, o atsumari no minasama. Koyoi, ware ra ga kataru monogatari wa. Haruka toi mukashi no monogatari de gozaimas. Incredible. Only one new piece of language. <laughs> wow. Let's see if you guys remember everything. Koyoi. 
So this is a pretty rare piece of language, pretty difficult. This means tonight, but it's in a bit more of a fancy way, older way, uh, this kind of more fantasy game element way, like this night, koyoi, wadera ga. So this is actually our wadera ga kataru. So kataru is to say. This is kind of saying in like a story sense, like to tell the story of. Kataru monogatari. This is the word for a story, monogatari. So the story that we will tell you today, koyoi, warera ga kataru monogatari wa. Haruka is far away. Toy is again far away. So very, very, very distant. Mukashi. This is long ago in the past. No monogatari de gozaimasu. And de gozaimasu is just the honorific way of saying des, to be. So here he's speaking in a very songkego honorific way to his audience members, right? Tonight, the story that we will tell you is a story of long, long ago. Koyoi, warera ga kataru monogatari wa haruka toi mukashi no monogatari de gozaimasu. Monogatari no shujinko dearu Cornelia hime wa koibito makasu to no naka o hikisakare so ni nari. Okay, we've got a few new pieces here. Monogatari no shujinko. So shujinko is the main character. Very useful piece of language, even though it's at the end one. As you can see, it's under the top 5k for every field. So very essential piece of language, even though it's in the end one. Shujinko is the protagonist. So monogatari no shujinko dearu. Dearu is the same as des, but in this situation, it's being used before the other noun. Koneria hime. And what this is doing is it's modifying that other noun. So dearu means to be. Cornelia hime. Hime means a princess, so the princess Cornelia. In Japanese, in order to modify a noun, you actually want to put the information before the noun. So here we have monogatari no shujinko dearu. So is the main character of this story Princess Cornelia? So Princess Cornelia, who is the main character of this story, Koibito is a lover. Romeo and Juliet, right? You're kind of your lover, your sweetheart, that type of thing. Koibito Marcasu, so Marcus to with Marcus no naka. So this is the relationship. O hiki sakare so ni nari. And hiki saku is to pull apart. Hiku is to pull, and saku is to like to tear. So to pull apart, to just rip apart, that type of thing. As we can see in definition number two, to forcibly separate a couple. That's what it's being. So forcibly pulling apart the lovers. And then so ni nari is so ni naru, to become seeming in that way. Which literally would mean that it becomes like it seems dun dun dun, implying that something is almost that way or it's about to be that way. So if we put all of this together, the main character of this story, Princess Cornelia, seems to be getting pulled apart from her lover, Marcus. Monogatari no shujin ko dearu, Cornelia hime wa, koibito Marcus to no naka o hikisakare so ni nari. Ichido is one time, wa, so as for one time, shiro o deo to, so shiro the castle o deo, to leave the castle, to, that's quoting what kind of, keshinsuru, keshinsuru is an N3 piece of language to mean to be determined, to be resolved for something, the resolution, the determination of something. So once already had the resolution to leave the castle, no desu ka. However, chichioya dearu, rea o. So chichioya here is an N3 piece of language to say someone's father, relatively common. Dearu, again to be, rea o, so the king known as rea. Ni, by that king, and then we have tsure modosarete shimaimasu. And so tsure modosu here is the verb to bring back. Tsureru is like to bring someone along, and then modosu is to return, so to bring them back. Tsure modosu. But it's tsure modosarete, so it was brought back shimaimasu, completely or regretfully. So again, putting all of this very difficult language together, she once had the resolution to leave. However, her father, the king, brought her back. Ichido wa shiro deo to keshin suru no desu ka? Chichioya dearu, rea o ni tsure modo sarete shimaimasu. 
。今宵のお話は、それを聞いた恋人のマーカスが、コーネリア姫の父親に、刃を向けるところから始まります。Absolutely incredible. My God, this, this video so far, most sentences, we've only ever had one new word or none. <laughs> so again, this one, only one new word in this whole chain right here. So if any of this is being a little bit, you know, vague and not sure about it, then make sure to check out the previous episodes because wow, we've actually already seen most of this language. Koyoi tonight no ohanashi, the story of tonight wa sore that, so the thing that we saw before or kita heard 恋人 the lover, no Marcus. So, tonight the story is about the lover Marcus that heard that. Cornelia hime no chichioya ni. So, to the father of Princess Cornelia, yaiba o mukeru. Yaiba is a sword. So, to face your sword at someone, right? To turn your sword to them. Tokoro, that's the place or the scene. Kara. So, from that scene, Hajimarimas, we begin. So this story will begin from Marcus the lover hearing about that situation and him facing her father with a blade. Koyoi no hanashi wa, sore o kita koi bito no Marcus ga, Cornelia hime no chichioya ni, yaiba o mukeru tokoro kara, hajimarimas. Sore dewa, royal sheeto ni oraremas, burane jo o sama mo, ガーネと姫様も。それでは、well then, ロイヤルシート、so royal, ロイヤル、シート could be both seat or sheet. <laughs> Unfortunately, Japanese sometimes the, the sounds bleed, so シート could be both. I'm gonna guess it's the seat, not the royal sheet. That would be a bit weird. ロイヤルシートにおられます。おられます is again, 敬語、尊敬語 way of talking about Iru, to exist. Iru turns into oru. And if you want to make it polite, oru turns into orimas. And this is kind of the polite passive here, so oraremas. Burane jo sama. So burane is the name of the jo, that is the queen. Jo is just like female or woman, and then o is the king. So the woman king is the queen. Jo. So burane jo sama. That summer is again adding that politeness, that honorifics to the name, so showing respect. Burane jo sama mo, as well as the queen burane, Garneto hime sama mo. And Garneto, now we see that princess Garnet, Garneto hime sama. Hime for princess, sama showing that respect, that honor, mo also. So, well then, the queen burane and the princess Garnet in the royal seats. Sore dewa. ロイヤルシートにおられます。ブラネ女王様も、ガーネット姫様も。そして、貴族の方々も、屋根の上からご覧の方々も、手にはどうぞ、厚手のハンカチをご用意くださいませ。<laughs> this is probably the hardest part of the whole video, this, this section right here. そして、and then, 貴族、the nobles の方々、Katagata is like the plural, the people, so those nobles, right, the people of nobles. Kizoko no katagata mo. Yane is the roof. If you remember,、uh, just with Vivi and the little rat guy, we climbed to the roof. That roof is in Japanese known as yane. So the roof is yane. Yane no ue kara. Ue is above kara from. So from above the roof, goran no kata mo. So, goran is actually the songkego, the honorific way of saying miru, to look. Goran ni naru. So, goran is to be viewing no katagata. So, the people from the roof who are also watching, te ni wa. So, te is your hands, ni wa in your hands, dozo. So, kind of please, by all means, atsude no hankachi. Atsude is like a thick or heavy something. Atsude no hankachi, that's a thick. Handkerchief, so you know, for blowing your nose, right, from crying, something like that. So, a thick handkerchief, or go yoi kudasai mase. So, go yoi, yoi just means to prepare something, and then go again, the honorifics before something. So, he's talking about your preparation. Your preparation kudasai mase. 
And again, this is a Kegel way, a very formal way of addressing everyone to please do something. This end part, mase, you actually often see all the time in Japan as well. Like whenever someone says, you know, irashai mase, like welcome to the shop, that type of thing. That mase is the same thing. This is sonkeigo, referring to someone else's actions. So kudasai mase is talking about your actions of please preparing something. Soshite, kizoku no katagata mo. So blank here is now performing his role. Do you remember what that verb is? Enjiru. So here he is performing his role. Enjiru. Chichi o korosare. Chichi here is the way to say your father. Now, just a very quick word about this. Have a look at the definition. It says, Father, humble, kenjogo. This is a really important thing to notice because in textbooks, you might learn that the way to say your father is chichi, and the way to say your mother is haha. A lot of textbooks teach you that. But actually, this is a way that you would only talk about your own father and your own mother because this is humble speech. And when you use humble speech, it can only be about your own things, your own actions. You can't be humble about someone else. <laughs> you're only humble about yourself. And that's why you can't use chichi or haha when you're talking about someone else's parents, only with your own. So when you see chichi or haha, you know the speaker is talking about their own parents. Chichi o korosare. So my father was killed. Haha o kurosare. My mother was killed. Chichi o kurosare. Haha o kurosare. Soshite, koi bito to hiki hanasareta makasu yo. Soshite, and then, koi bito to, with your lover, hiki hanasareta. So we saw hiki saku, right? So hiku is to pull and saku is to rip apart, right? So to rip apart someone's, you know, from someone else. But here, hiki hanasu is very similar, but hanasu is to kind of be distant from someone. So to pull apart, to separate. It's a little bit less violent as the hiki saku is, right? Hiki hanasu, to pull apart. Hiki hanasareta makasu. So the lover and the separated Marcus. Soshite, koi bito to. That thing has a moustache. <laughs> I've never looked at the model close up before, but that is a creepy looking character, this Shina. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> um, so here, Shina says, a little bit difficult language here, so, oh, yeah. Kakumo, here seen with the kanji, we can see means so, like so much, so close, so many. And this is connecting to the next word, fushiawase. Now we can actually see that it's using a different kanji from what the dictionary recommends. So this is definitely a less common way of it being used. This is another kanji that can be used to read this um, particular word. Shiawase usually means happiness and fu is like un, the negative, right? So not. So unhappiness is probably a common way you might see this. But I would say in this situation, rather than the unhappy makasu, I think it's more the ill-fated, the not very fortunate makasu. But it could be unhappy as well. Oh, kaku mo fushiawase na makasu yo. Kore kara, omae wa nani o kibou ni ikite yukeba yoi no da. Incredible! All this language we know, Korekara from now, Omae, you, wa, as for, nani, what, nani o kibo, that's your hopes or desire for something, kibo ni, as your hopes or desires, ikite, yukeba yoi, <laughs> ikiru is to live, yuku is iku, but just a little bit more of an old traditional way of saying it, ikite, yuku, ikite, iku, ikite, yukeba i, but here again, it's the more old way of saying it. So, ikite yukeba yoi. <laughs> so, just very, very simple. The ikite yukeba yoi is the same as ikite ikeba i. So, ikite iku, to go on living, and then ba i. Should. Would be good if. So, here it's saying, from here, what should you hope to live on for? Kore kara. Omae wa 
。我が友のため。こう means in this way. Super central piece of language. こうなれば。So if it becomes in this way. 我が、my, 友 means a friend のため。For the sake of. So if it becomes like this. I, for the sake of my friend. こうなれば。我が友のため。憎きレア王の胸に劣化の剣を突き刺してやろうではないか。<laughs> okay, interesting language here. So, 憎い means hateful. This is an N to E adjective. So, hateful, detestable, right? But here, 憎き is actually an old way of using the E adjectives. So, rather than 憎いレア王 It's here, nikuki rea o. Just the old way of talking. So, this is the hateful King Rea. No, mune, that's the chest right here. So, the mune, ni, to the chest. And then we have this interesting piece of language, reka no ken. This may be familiar to some of you who are fans of the Fire Emblem series.、Uh, there's a game called Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade, and in Japanese, it's known as. Fire Emblem, Rekka no Ken. So that is the word right here. Rekka is raging fire, or like blazing. And then Ken is that sword. So Rekka no Ken, a blazing sword. So thank you, Fire Emblem, for that translation. So into the hateful king's heart, a blazing sword, o tsuki sashite yaro. So tsuki sasu is to kind of stab, to thrust. So to thrust. The blazing sword into the heart of him. Shite yaro is like, I will do dewa naika. Why not? Now we can see that in the second definition for dewa naika, it's like, let's, why don't we, how about we, shouldn't we, after the volitional form of a verb. Now we can see yaro, that's the volitional form, so that's very much this meaning right here. So, very much a, why don't we thrust a blazing sword into the heart of the hateful King Rea? Nikuki Rea o no mune ni. Rekka no ken o tsuki sashite yaro de wa nai ka. Oh! Suke dachi ni kita zo, aibo. So the first word here, suke dachi here, top 16k word for assistance, help. So, suke dachi ni, as help or as support. Kitazo, we came. Aibo. And aibo just means buddy. So, hey, buddy, we've come to help. Skedachi ni kitazo, aibo. Tedashi o suru denai. Okay, so now we're battling and we have tedashi o suru denai. So, tedashi is to kind of get interfering, to meddle into something. So, here is to get in the way. Or suru, to do, denai. Don't be. So, don't be getting in my way. Tedashi o suru denai. Tedashi o suru denai. So wa ikanu. So wa ikanu. So in that way, ikanu is the same as ikanai. This is just the old way of talking. Nu is the nai form. So no, I'm not letting it be like that. So wa ikanu. Ore mo rea o ni wa kyodai o korosarete iru no da. Okay, and Shina here says, Ore mo mi also, rea o, the king rea, ni wa, as for by him, kyodai, this is brothers or sisters. So this is like my siblings, o, koro sare te iru no da. So koro sare te iru means that they have been killed. No da, explaining. So I too have had my siblings killed by king rea. Ore mo rea o ni wa, kyodai o koro sare te iru no da. Hey, sagare, sagare, bure mono. Hey, sagare, sagare. So, sagare is to kind of get back, in a way to kind of withdraw, get back. And then, bure mono. So, this is a new piece of language, bure mono, and this means an insolent fellow. <laughs>、uh, pretty much you see this used when someone calls someone, you know, you insolent, insolent fool, or you ruffian, or you scoundrel, that type of thing, right? Someone who is like below, insolent, rude,、uh, won't show the proper respect to someone who's above them in position, like a, you know, a subject to a king, right? That's kind of bure mono. So,、uh, get back, get back, you ruffians. Hey, sagare, sagare, bure mono. Waga yabo no yukte o fusagu yatsua. Dare tote yosha wa senuzo. 
Whew, we got some tough language here. So, waga, my, yabo, ambition, no yukute. This is one's way, one's path. We've already seen yuku is another way of reading iku, right? To go. So, yukute, the way of one's path. Yukute o fusagu, that means to block, to get in the way. Yatsu, a guy, wa. So, as for someone who would block my path to my ambition, dare tote. Dare, who, tote, even. So, no matter who it is, yosha wa senu. And yosha is a new piece of language here that's relatively common, at least in anime and drama, and this means to give permission, forgiveness, leniency, mercy. Yosha wa senu is the same as yosha wa shinai. I will not give any mercy. So anyone who gets in the way of my ambition, my path, I will not give any mercy. Waga yabo no yukute o fusagu yatsu wa dare tote yosha wa senu zo. Yo ni hamukau yatsu wa kono yami yo no tsuyu to keshite kureru wa. <laughs> okay, it's official. All of the difficult language in this episode was waiting in the very, very end. <laughs> we had times where there were like six, seven lines without any new words, and now we're getting like four new words every sentence. So this is pretty pretty challenging stuff, so really don't feel bad if you're not understanding this stuff. It's pretty hard. Uh, this is very much like a Shakespeare play, okay? So just think about that, like when you see Shakespeare plays in English, you probably don't understand everything. Same thing in Japanese. So here, starting things off, he says, Yo ni hamukau yatsu wa. So yo is actually a pronoun. Uh, this is the way he's referring to himself. This is a very formal, archaic way of referring to himself. It's not so much used nowadays, but it may be seen in like ceremonies or you know plays, like in here, right? So yo ni hamukau. We actually know this word yaiba, the sword, mukau is to face, but hamukau is just to strike back at, to turn against, to oppose. So hamukau yatsu wa, so anyone who would oppose me, kono yami yo no tsuyu to keshite kureru wa. So kono, this, yami yo, pretty rare piece of language, but not too difficult to understand. Yami just means darkness, yo is for night, so in this dark night. Kono yami yo no tsu. Although this is an N1 piece of language, and this is actually seen, I believe, at the very end of the 10k core deck, this is a pretty useful word, tsu, for Jew. I would say that's pretty important, right? Like, I remember being a kid and I remember seeing the grass when it gets all dewy and it kind of turns white. That's the word, Jew. <laughs> so tsu is a pretty important piece of language. Um, so here it is. Kono yami yo no tsu, the Jew of the dark night, to keshite kureru wa. And kesu is to erase, to wipe out. Kureru, I'll do for you. And then wa is kind of, interestingly, it's normally like a feminine emphatic ending to a sentence. But here, shite kureru wa is more of a forceful, rough way of like a villain character talking. You might often see it being used this way, especially with shite kureru wa in things like folk tales or period pieces like here in this play. So any who oppose me, I will make disappear with the Jew of the Dark Knight. If you can't already tell, it's okay if you don't understand everything that's going on. <laughs> yo ni hamukau yatsu wa, kono yami yo no tsuyu to keshite kureru wa. Rea o yo, waga tomo no kokoro no itami wo ukete mi yo. So Zidane starts off with rea o yo. So he's kind of saying, King Rea! The yo is adding the emphasis, so he's like yelling the name. Waga mai. Tomo no kokoro no itami. Tomo, the friend. Kokoro is your heart. Itami is like a pain. And then o ukete mi yo. So ukeru is like to receive. So here it's receiving the pain that my friend had in his heart. Rea o yo. Waga tomo no kokoro no itami o ukete mi yo. Waga tomo no kokoro no kanashimi o ukete mi yo. And then again he says the same thing, but this time instead of the itami, he says kanashimi. And this is the sadness. So, waga, my, tomo no, my friends, kokoro no kanashimi, sadness in his heart, o ukete mi yo. Ugh. 
、このままで、住むと思うなよ、マーカス。Okay, so we're beating the king now. He's up on the top, very dramatic. And he says, このままで。So, このまま just like this. I will never forget this word, and I hope you never forget it too. This is the word that's said over and over again in Nier Automata, like this, in this way. このままじゃダメ <laughs> I hope no one ever forgets that word on this channel. このままで So, like this, sumu is to end, to kind of be finished, to be all finished off. So, to something to end like this, to omouna, don't think. So, don't think it'll end like this, Marcus. <laughs> このままで住むと思うなよ、マーカス。待て待て is to wait. So he's yelling, wait! 待てなぜ止めるブランクなぜ is why. 止める is to stop. And then ブランク That's the guy's name. So why are you stopping blank? なぜ止めるブランク時短よ。冷静になって。よく考えてみるよ。シュナイダー王子とコーネリア姫が結婚すれば、二つの国は平和になるのだ。<笑> oh my god, that's a big sentence. So we have a last couple of few sentences and then we're finished with this episode.、Uh, but here, blank here, he says, ジタンヨ。So, ズデイン。冷静になって。This is a new piece of language to cool off, to kind of cool down yourself. 冷静 is to be, you know, calm and composed. ニナル to become. So, compose yourself. 冷静になって。よく means well. 考えてみろよ。So, 考えてみる is to try and think. So, try and think carefully. Calm yourself and think carefully. シュナイダ王子。So, Schneider Orgy. Orgy means a prince. So, Prince Schneider. <laughs> What is this? Rob Schneider? What's going on here? Schneider Orgy to Cornelia Hime. So, <laughs> Prince <laughs> Rob Schneider and Princess Cornelia ga kekkon sureba. So, kekkon suru is to get married. Sureba if they get married. So, if Prince Schneider and Princess Cornelia get married, Futatsu no kuni wa heiwa ni naru no da. So, futatsu means two. Kuni is the country, so the two countries. Wa, heiwa means peaceful, ni naru. It becomes noda, is that explanatory particle at the end. So, if they get married, the two countries will become peaceful. Jitan yo, reise ni natte, yoku kangaite mirio. Schneida oji to, Cornelia hime ga kekkon sureba, futatsu no kuni wa heiwa ni naru no da. Shoshi senban. それで全てが丸く収まれば世の中に不幸せなど存在しない。ふぅ、that is a tough sentence. I almost feel like this part of the game is some of the hardest language we've seen in almost the entire vocab series. Maybe, maybe, it's hard to say.、Um, okay, let's have a look. So, first up, we have Shoshi Senban. Now, this is a pretty rare piece of language that means something is highly ridiculous or quite absurd. It's a yoji jukugo, so、uh, that means four kanji in a row.、Uh, so, already that makes it a pretty rare piece of language. Shoshi Senban. That's utterly absurd. Sore de. With that, subete, everything, ga, maruku. So, maru is like round, but here it's kind of everything to go well, amicably, smoothly, right? Maruku, osamareba. Here, definition number five for osamaru means for everything to get settled. So, for everything to get settled amicably, everything to go get settled and all be fixed nice and smoothly. But if it does, yo no naka ni. Fushiawase nado sonzai shinai. So, yo no naka here means the world. And this is a pretty useful piece of language. It's in the N3, but it's pretty common. And this just means, you know, around the world, within the world, no fushiawase. Again, we see that unhappiness. Nado, things like sonzai shinai. It wouldn't exist. So, if everything could just be finished off so easily, then things like unhappiness wouldn't exist in the world. That's a pretty complicated sentence right there. Shoshi Senban, Sore de Subete ga Maruku Osamareba, 
世の中に不幸せなど存在しない。こうなればいざ勝負望むところだよし、we have it, the famous fighting scene! <笑> oh man, that brings back memories playing this, it's so cool. I loved how like the old Final Fantasy used to have these kind of moments that are really memorable, like this moment or like the,、um, the President's March in Final Fantasy VII where you had to <laughs> you had to like get it in the right timing. This is one of those moments, right? So if, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So here, they say, こうなれば i z a s h o b u And then Zidane says, Nozomu tokoro da. So, ko nareba, if it becomes like this, i z a s h o b u i z a is kind of like now, and then s h o b u is a match or a battle. So, if this is how it's going to become, let's fight. And then Zidane says, Nozomu tokoro da. So, Nozomu is to desire something, and then tokoro is like the place. So, this is kind of like, it is as I desire. Nozomu tokoro means that's exactly what I desire. If that's a bit confusing to you, check out my tokoro video. I'll put a link in the description and maybe a pop up right about here.、Um, and tokoro, I have a video where I cover all the different uses of how you can use tokoro. This is a pretty useful piece of language, so definitely worth getting a review on that. But here, nozomu tokoro da, that's exactly what I wanted. k o n a r e b a iza shoubu, nozomu tokoro da. So, after winning the battle a bit, Blank says, Kono shoubu wa, as for this battle, o a z u k e da. So, o a z u k e here means to put it on hold, to put it on kind of wait, postpone it. So, let's postpone this battle. And Zidane replies with, So, a s a s e r u ka. So, so in that way, wa, as for in that way, s a s e r u is to let or to make. So, as if I would. And then ka is like a question, as if. So, as if I'd let it go like that. So, Zidane's saying, No, 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 I'm not going to let you get away. Kono shoubu wa uazuke da. So, a s a s e r u ka. Kizoku no kankyaku, yakunin chu, kyuju go nin ga, manzoku shita yo des. Huge Oscar Sama. So now we have the very last part of this video. The <laughs> very, very last part. Here we have our kind of results of the battle, because this was like a timed battle where I had to press the buttons. And so we're getting a score for the battle, and it says, Kizoku no kankyaku, yaku nin chu, kyuju go nin ga manzoku shita yo des. So, Kizoku no Kankyaku. Kizoku is the nobles. And then we have this new piece of language, Kankyaku. This means the audience. Or the spectators. So, Kizoku no Kankyaku, the noble spectators, Hyaku Ninchu. So, this Ninchu is like among, among those hundred people. Chu is often in that kind of way, among, right? So, among those hundred people, Kyuju Gonin, so 95 people, ga manzoku shita yo des. And manzoku suru is to be very happy, to be satisfied with something. Your desk means it appears. So it appears that 95 out of 100 of the noble spectators are happy with the performance. Kizoku no Kankyaku, Yakunin Chu, Kyuju Gonin ga, Manzoku shita yo des. Burane jo mo, Manzoku shita yo des. And then we have Burane jo mo, so also the Queen Burane, Manzoku shita yo des. It seems that she's satisfied. Burane jo mo, Manzoku shita yo des. おひねり806ギルが投げ込まれました Whew, and we have the very final sentence so おひねり806ギル so おひねり here is a kind of wrapped offering of money kind of think of it like a pouch of money that's been thrown at you right so someone the royalties oof, there are five gold coins that type of thing right oof, little pouch throw the pouch right that's the ohineri 806 806 giru so 806 gil ga nage komaremashita and nage komu is to throw in audience and the queen for example they threw in 806 gil 
Nageru is just to throw, and then komu is like to go in, right? This is a compound verb you often see, and often has this feeling of going in, right? So nage komu, to throw in. So 806 gil were thrown in as presents. <laughs> and a huge, enormous, monstrous Otsukare Sama, everybody. A huge Otsukare Sama. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was a lot of Japanese that we covered. My golly gosh. <laughs> Very much the beginning of Final Fantasy IX. Um, and there's more and more interesting events that just keep on happening as the game kind of progresses. Uh, this was kind of a slow start, especially comparing to, you know, the Final Fantasy X episodes that we had. By the way, episode 3 is finished editing. I just have to record the video. That'll be coming up very soon. I'm probably just going to do one more grammar video and then Final Fantasy X is going to be coming out in the next probably week or so, so look forward to that. But that is it for the April 2023 Community Voted Vocab episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment letting me know what video you would like to see. And if you want to actually help shape the future of the channel, what kind of games actually get covered, then make sure that you join on either the Game Gengo website or on the Game Gengo Patreon, and you can come vote for your favorite games. You can even leave suggestions and all kinds of stuff, as well as have an amazing community. Whew, so that was a very big video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you got a lot of Japanese revision and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. As always, a huge love heart, and I'll see you all again in the next video. See ya. Kurai na. まだ誰も ところでボスはもう来てるのか。いや、まだずらよ。ああ。頭が あ、手抜かねえか。おめえら。なかなか腕を上げたじゃねえか。ガハハハ。さあ、会議始めんど。今日の作戦の確認だ。我らのとちゃくしたら、俺たちは平然とした顔をして、アレクサンドリアで大人気の芝居、君の小鳥になりたいをエンジルズラ。頼むズラよ。主役のマーカスさん。頑張るす。だけど、誘拐作戦の主役は時短
アレクサンドリア城下町ねえ大丈夫はい大切なチケットじゃあねお前邪魔なんだよさあトレノカラオ腰の貴族の皆様アレクサンドリア城はこちらですぞ。ケットブースを覗くなんかご用うんうんとチケットを見せるおやそのチケットはなんか変だねこりゃ偽物だな最近多いんだよねえーそんなにがっかりするなよ。気持ちはわかるけどさ。そうだ。これでもやるからさ。元気を出しなよ。ゴブリンのカードを手に入れた。ファングのカードを手に入れた。スケルトンのカードを手に入れた。カードのことなら裏通りのジャックってやつに聞けば。いろいろ教えてくれるはずだよじゃあああたあおめえがこけるから外れちまったじゃねえかで治ったかな今日の仕事はこれで終わりだおいお前さっき持ってたチケットが偽物だって言われてただろう。俺は見てたんだぜうん偽物だった。俺の家来になれば今日の芝居を見せてやる家来になるかわかったよしそうと決まったら早速命令だお前あっちから人が来ないか見張ってろだれも来ないかうん来ない。よーしじゃあ計画実行だギル盗まれた。戦闘の中に入るぞこれからこの塔の上に登っからお前先に登ってみろわあ<笑>なんだそのざまは驚かせてごめんクポ。そいつはなあモーグリーのクポってやつだクポ
、俺の家来第一号だ。よろしくしてやってくれ。クポー、よろしく。お詫びに、君のこと、モーグリの記録帳に書いてあげるよ。もし保存ブロックにセーブしたくなったら僕たちモーグリに話しかけるクポーあとテントを持っていれば体力を回復することもできるクポー分かったクポー分かったこれからもよろしくポーさあてそろそろ登ろうぜおーい早く登ってこいよクーポーいるかクーポースチルツキンその格好はもしかしてまた旅に出るクポああ今度の旅はちょっと長くなるかもしれないな寂しくなるクポ時々手紙を出すからよ心配はしないでくれわかったクポじゃあな、元気でいろよ。城にいるモッシュたちにもよろしく伝えておいてくれ。今のはお友達なの？ソークポー、さすらいのお友達クポー。おーい、早く登ってこいて言ってるだろう。さあ、急がないと芝居が始まっちまうぜ何してんだよ早く来いよお前もしかして高いところが苦手なのか大丈夫だよここが高いところだと思わなければいいんだ腰ら、ら、を抜かしてる暇はないぜまたかよ大丈夫だってビビんなよ落ちないって。細かいことは気にするなってところでよお前の名前まだ聞いてなかったのなそうかビビっていうのかちょっと変わった名前だな俺はパックって言うんだこれからもよろしくな。やっとたどり着いたぜこの壁を越えればもう城の中ださあ行こうぜ
さてお集まりの皆様今宵我らが語る物語ははるか遠い昔の物語でございます物語の主人公であるコーネリア姫は恋人マーカスとの仲を引き裂かれそうになり一度は城を出ようと決心するのですが父親であるレア王に連れ戻されてしまいます。今宵のお話は、それを聞いた恋人のマーカスがコーネリア姫の父親に刃を向けるところから始まります。それでは、ロイヤルシートにおられます。ブラネ女王様も、ガーネット姫様も、そして、貴族の方々も、屋根の上からご覧の方々も、手にはどうぞ、厚手のハンカチをご用意くださいませ。父を殺され、母を殺され、そして、恋人と引き離されたマーカスよ。おう、かくも不幸せなマーカスよ。これからお前は何を希望に生きてゆけばよいのだ。こうなれば、我が友のため、憎きレア王の胸に劣化の剣を突き刺してやろうではないか。おう、助立ちに来たぞ、相棒。手出しをするでない。そうはいかぬ俺もレア王には兄弟を殺されているのだへい下がれ下がれ無礼者我が野望の行く手を塞ぐやつは誰とて容赦はせぬぞ世に歯向かうやつはこの闇用のつゆと消してくれるわレア王よ、我が友の心の痛みを受けてみよう。レア王よ、我が友の心の悲しみを受けてみよう<笑>このままで済むと思うなよマーカス待てなぜ止めるブランク時短よ冷静になってよく考えてみるよシュナイダー王子とコーネリア姫が結婚すれば二つの国は平和になるのだ少子千番それで全てが丸く収まれば世の中に不幸せなど存在しない。こうなればいざ勝負望むところだ<音楽>この勝負は上付けだそうはさせるか貴族の観客100年中95年が満足したようですブラネ女王も満足したようですおひねり806ギルが投げ込まれました。